is a cool start out there this morning and a frost advisory is in effect through 9 a.m. for almost all of our Indiana counties with the exception of those down to the south right now. That frost advisory has been issued and temperatures this morning reflect where those frosty conditions might be because it is cooler on the Indiana side of things right now. 33 Greencastle, 35 Crawfordsville, currently 36 out at the airport in Terre Haute. But as we trek back off to the southwest, temperatures still in the 40s right now. We'll all find this morning's temperatures cool, but tomorrow will be noticeably warmer as we start the day. We do have some rain showing up back off to the northwest of us, but this is all tracking off to the uh, north and to the east, and so we're not going to worry about any precipitation, though we might see a few clouds filter across the skies. It's a dry day today. We're going to have plenty of sunshine, so as you head out the door, grab those sunglasses, grab that jacket early. Not going to need it this afternoon with those temperatures climbing up to about 70 degrees. It's going to be a mild Monday for the entire Wabash Valley and a dry start to the week too. Clouds will increase a little bit for us tomorrow. We'll see a chance of showers as we get into the day on Wednesday. I think we may start with just a little bit of light rain as we begin the day. As we go through the day Thursday, mostly cloudy and then increasing those shower chances again as we get into Friday and into the weekend. We're going to keep those rain chances with us, I think, both Saturday and maybe even on Sunday too. We're going to be tracking some cooler air. Cooler for the weekend, back to seasonable. Colder as we get into next week and wrap up October. So today, nice and mild, and we'll stay that way through the middle of the week. Temperatures won't cool back into the 60s until the weekend. Again, I think Saturday and Sunday feels a little bit closer to what it should for this time of the year, but check out that cold air making its noticeable uh, plunge across this area. I think as we get into the end of October, those final days, Halloween included, it is going to be chilly out there with temperatures not as warm as they should be. Get ready for what I think will be a colder Halloween and a below normal start to the month of November, not just here, but as you can see across a large section of the country. Today, above normal. We're going to see those daytime highs today climbing around 70 degrees this afternoon. Just a beautiful day. Winds pick up speed a little bit today. Gets a little breezy out there, but those winds are a benefit tonight. We'll be uh, in the 50s tomorrow morning versus the 30s, so you'll notice a change as we begin what will be a mild Tuesday and a mild midweek forecast, too. As you see, we are in the upper 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. Even with clouds around, those southerly breezes keep us warm. You're not reading that incorrectly. If that hits that mark on Friday, guys, I know. We're talking about some near record warmth around here. By the weekend, rain and cooler. But again, those temperatures still not bad in the 60s. A noticeable difference in the way it's going to feel this week. But I will say this, we'll be lucky to stay in the 50s by Monday. So <laughs> it's coming. We've just kind of delayed it. I know early last week we kind of looked at the forecast and said, look, some changes are coming. And they are. They're not going to get here by the weekend, but they're going to get here by next week. So I keep talking about it, but it's just that I have everything out as far as clothes, shorts, long sleeves, short sleeves, everything. Uh, it's all fair game. The struggle is real. <laughs> right. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, guys. We'll still the